today, I want to focus on two of our immersive opera projects that are currently reaching the production phase. We'll start with Looking at You, which is an opera focused on internet privacy. The opera premieres this September at Here Arts downtown and is a co-production of Here and Opera on Tap. So billed as a techno-noir music theater piece for a time of total surveillance, it's essentially Edward Snowden meets Casablanca with a mashup of musical styles ranging from EDM to opera to crime jazz. And at its heart, this is a social justice piece with the goal of compelling our audiences to consider how they protect themselves online. To make the case for internet privacy compelling, we've partnered with Carnegie Mellon's Privacy Economics Experiments Lab on the creation of a data mining software that integrates with the video design of the piece. If audience members agree to our terms and conditions in exchange for a free glass of wine, data is pulled from their public online profiles by a combination of custom software and human data miners. At various moments in the opera, images from their lives appear on large onstage screens and on tablets in front of them. As the plot intensifies, audience content becomes increasingly more personal. To facilitate the video design integration, coders Joe Holt and Daniel Dickison of Bandcamp have developed a new system for sorting and integrating the data bind content while synchronizing playback across up to 100 tablets and onto the large onstage screens. Additionally, our video designer, David Bengali, has visualized one of the characters in the opera, the algorithm, as a swarming pixel cloud that almost takes human form at times and sings back data mined content to the audience during the show. Using facial recognition technology, we are able to target content to specific audience members through the tablets. Here's a video snippet from a recent semi-staged workshop of the piece we did at Brick Arts. And that's going to start in about two seconds. <laughs> so equally creepy is the other project I want to discuss today, which is Parksville. So Parksville was originally conceived as a cinematic VR horror opera series, and the pilot episode entitled The Parksville Murders premiered in 2017. In our narrative, we focus on the destructiveness of the male gaze. The viewer follows the plight of two young sopranos caught in an endless trope of evil embodied by a chorus of mysterious watchers. As the thundering world escalates around them, viewers gradually come to realize that in this virtual universe, they themselves are the watchers. So why VR? Well, in this particular project, the concept of being able to give the viewer an active role, which the medium offers, was very exciting to us. VR is also multi-sensory. Opera is the original multi-sensory art form, marrying theater, movement, visual art, and music. There are a range of tools in VR we're working with. Binaural audio was particularly inspiring at the outset. If you've ever had the experience of hearing a live opera in a grand opera house, you understand the unique sonic experience it is, hearing an unmiked operatic voice soaring over an orchestra in a space designed to enhance sound so much so that the voice blooms and reverberates throughout the space. And depending on where you're sitting, you experience the sound differently. With the use of an omnibineural mic built for live streaming in VR, we were able to capture our singer's vocal performances in each of our shoot locations, which created an immediate auditory impact and a unique creepy ambiance to the piece. Further, our composer Kamla enhanced the ambiance with a score made up of sounds evocative only of objects in the room. My underlying music. So what's next with Parksville? What we learned from the pilot led us to want to dive deeper into interactivity. We wanted to give our audiences choices in the narrative. Place is so important to our piece. We wanted to allow for our audiences to become explorers of Parksville, through which they could explore themselves and the roles they could play within. Do they have to be the watcher? Could they choose to be someone else? 
The result of this deepening has led us to a broader concept, one that incorporates site specificity, live performance, VR, AR experiences, volumetric capture, a dome, and a culminating month-long summer festival experience in the actual town of Parksville, New York. So that's a quick overview of two massive projects we're working on. We're working on several more. Here's my contact info. We're always excited to explore new partnerships and collaborations on these projects, as well as explore new projects. So thank you, and I look forward to talking more.